Hi everyone, it's Nikki. I am back and today I thought of doing a show and share video. So I'm gonna show you the tools that I use and the different sizes of peg dolls that I have and anything that comes to mind really about painting these peg dolls. I actually started painting peg dolls back in June 2020. My brother and sister-in-law gave my goddaughter a dollhouse. So I thought I would add some peg dolls for her to play with. Then I had this idea that these peg dolls would be a nice addition for our shoe boxes. When I first started painting the peg dolls, I did mostly for for the toddler boys because I think here in Canada it's a little bit harder to get toys that are nicely priced so I thought I'd just make some as uh, some fillers so after that it just started I really enjoyed painting them and I must say that painting the girl peg dolls are a little bit more exciting for me and um but it's a really enjoyable process for me so let me show you some of the peg sizes that i have so these are the very first peg doll sizes that i have discovered if you are in canada these are available at a store called dollar store and more so these are a dollar fifty for two of them they also have this size this shape it's um so i've already painted the skin tone on on these but yeah they're a dollar a dollar twenty five dollar fifty for two and then i started searching on the web i found some that are available through aliexpress so they have a like a family set from aliexpress these are the ones available i think i got this for maybe maybe around ten dollars which is actually a bit pricey now that i'm a little more familiar with the price point of pegs i find that these are a little harder to to paint because they soak up paint so i need to do three or more coatings on them and then I discovered a Canadian company. It, I got it from the, their website. It's called stockade.ca. I will have the link for you in case anyone's interested. So these are the peg dolls that I use um, mostly. These are now my favorites. So these two, they are about um, maybe two, two and a half inches long and the really nice quality and then they also have bigger pieces like this this is about three inches this one is the tapered one and then they also have a giant size so i haven't yet done anything that's this size but will do in a couple of days i think they also have like minis one thing i like about stockade is their their stuff are are certified by some board in canada i think that are it's um it's safe for kids so i really like that then i also have some some special pegs which are different sizes than these regular well different shapes and these regular pegs that i use well these are actually gifted to me by diana so thank you diana the a snowman i guess <laughs> and and a cone i believe she got this from amazon and then i have this i got this from uh, a canadian craft store also that closed a couple of months ago so i i got a good sale on that in this one too but these are also available in aliexpress 
I have a mushroom and these ones. So lots of different types of eggs. I have also a mini mushroom. And these I got from Stockade also. It's actually a doorknob. I have um, turned these into like animals for our nativity scene this year. So I'm going to put up a picture so in case anyone is interested. These are the basic pegs that I have and hope to paint in the coming months. If you have any suggestions on what I can do with them, let me know and maybe I'll show you in a video. So for the tools, first I want to say that I'm really no expert on these things. I just usually look at my paintbrushes and say yes or no, but I, I'm, I don't really know about what their name is or what size but i'm learning along it's a learning process for me because i am quite new at peg doll painting so i'm gonna show you what i've been using and if it's helpful to you great and if you have any questions let me know and i'll try my best to answer it I always believe as the kids say sharing is caring so if I could share any info or tips, I won't hesitate to, to give it. Anyways, so paint brushes. These are the ones that I usually use. So these are my flat brush. I've had this for a while. I got this from Dollarama. It's a dollar store here in Canada. Nothing fancy. I think it was a set for maybe 3 or $4 dollars. And then, I use the flat, my flat brushes for sealing. And then I have these. I also got these from Dollarama. They are a few years old. I don't know what they're called. And the names have been erased because they are old. And then for the detail brush, this one is a, a little newer. I got this from Walmart, the detailed brushes by Mod Podge. But I only mostly use this one for, for my detailing. I think it's um, called Round, Round Zero Zero. The, these are really great. I like them. And then these this too i actually saw this in the nail salon the ladies were doing acrylic nails so i thought that would be a nice tool for detailing it's the brushes are really thin and it has a dotting tool on the other side i got this from aliexpress really cheaply they came in a set of five for four dollars and i'm really happy with it because this is this is actually the tool that i use now for for drawing the face and doing the eyes and the cheeks and you know it's really nice i'm just throwing it out there that i'm no expert and if any of you are veterans at painting and want to give me suggestions I'm always open to it. I'd love to hear your comments and suggestions. And now for the paint. So when I first started, I had already paint in, in my stash from Dollar Tree. I, I just have these, their brand, acrylic brand. So I still use this. This, this one's for one of the skin tones that I, I usually use. I like them, but um, you have to, to use two or three or more coatings sometimes because they're not, I guess, highly pigmented. But they do the work if you have the patience to just put on a little more coating. Those are actually now $1.50 at our Dollar Tree. But I discovered that Apple Barrel from Walmart, well, yes, Walmart, these brand, Apple Barrel are about 97 cents at Walmart 
and they work great i usually just do one coating of this and two if i really want it to be popping these are also nice i got this at dollar store and more deco art wait there they're about a dollar 25. I store my paint bottles upside down actually so I could I'll, I'll throw in a picture so you can see what um, my mustache looks like so I put put them upside down that way I see the colors faster and I don't use a palette I just work from the bottle cap because I don't really have to use a lot in painting pegs so that way I avoid wasting the paint and I don't have to do much cleanup after. When I first started painting peg dolls, I sealed them using Mod Podge. But I found that they don't really dry fully and they it has that stickiness to it that doesn't go away. So I had researched and found that the professional peg doll painters use these. These are actually great too. I have tested them and I am impressed. And these are about $3 or so at Michael's. But I have been using this one. Now this is my favorite. It's triple thick. So I only have to do one coat of this. And it really turns out really shiny. Which I like. So... Yeah, and all my paint and my sealer, as much as possible, like I want them to be water-based and toxic, non-toxic because these are for kids. So I try to be mindful of what I use. Even with the peg dolls, uh, like I mentioned, the one from Stockade are Canadian board, something approved for for kids and toddlers. So, so I'm assured that they are great quality and they are safe for kids let me show you of um like their differences so so for triple thick this is the one that i just showed you uh in a video it's really shiny i don't know if the camera would really catch that but it's all it almost looks like ceramic and then for the matte this one is matte and then this one is gloss it has a little shine to it and then this one is satin i guess that's it for me today i'll hopefully upload some more videos on doing and painting some different pegs so let me know if you want to see a specific one and I'll try my best to, to show it. And again, I want to thank you guys for spending this time with me and hope to see you soon. Bye!